It's been nearly a year since I highlighted New England Patriots defensive back Isaiah Zay Bolden as a budding standout defensive back and return specialist. Zay created significant buzz in the 2023 pre-draft process after clocking a 4.31 40-yard dash as pro day. Despite being a sleeper pick for me, he re-emerged on my radar when the Patriots invited him for a 30 visit just before the draft. Knowing the Patriots' proclivity for adding playmakers on special teams and depth in their secondary, I saw Zay as an ideal late-round prospect. The Patriots selected him in the 7th round with the 245th pick, a move I graded as an A due to his value and versatility. Although Zay had a solid preseason and was vying for a roster spot as a perimeter corner, he suffered a season-ending head injury in the Green Bay preseason game and missed the rest of the season. Now, he's reportedly performing well in the offseason programs and could be poised to make the roster this season. I know a lot of you know that Zay is someone to keep an eye on this year, but I also think some of you don't realize how elite of an athlete Zay is and his potential to be an incredibly valuable member of the Patriots roster. Now, Zay's flagship attribute is his athleticism. He's 6'2", weighs over 200 pounds, but yet runs a 4.3140, which is like 99th percentile. That also came with a 1.54 10-yard split. His shuttle being a 4.63, which is not great, but his vertical, 38 inches, and his broad, 10 foot 9. That's 93rd percentile. Now that would give us a quarterback RES of 9.24 and a free safety RES of 9.27. Now standing at 6 foot 2, Zay is valued for his length, speed, and versatility. He can cover receivers across the field, line up in the slot, and play both sides. At Jackson State, he often played in the slot and possibly due to his talent, but struggled against quicker receivers. I believe his size and straight line speed would make him better suited for the perimeter or as possibly as a safety. Zay's skill set as defensive back is solid. He excels at taking on and shedding blocks, but needs to improve his footwork and coverage. Bolden's instincts and feel for zone coverage are underrated. He can bait quarterbacks into making ill-advised throws and has decent enough hands to make a play in the ball. So how can he make the roster? Bolden's ideal project player for the Patriots. As I said before, he covered the slot at Jackson State, but is built for the perimeter, making him a potential candidate for adding depth at both of those positions and possibly being a safety conversion or just another one of those Patriots positionless defenders. His slot experience could be advantageous at the NFL level, especially against larger slot receivers or joker tight ends who often create mismatches for smaller corners. Bolden's size and speed allow him to cover bigger targets while keeping up with the faster receivers. While the Patriots' secondary is currently overloaded, many key players are nearing the end of their contracts, and Bolden could provide that necessary depth. I truly believe Zay has what it takes to play the perimeter, but I really think he could be dangerous as a slot corner slash safety hybrid, especially in the three high safety packages where his speed can be his asset. This setup allows Duggar to operate unblocked, often making tackles at the line of scrimmage. The three high safety defense can also transition to a three four structure, enhancing flexibility. Bolden's presence deep can help maintain Duggar's hybrid role and address mismatches against larger slot receivers or tight ends. Overall, Bolden's development beyond just simply a depth piece or a special teamer would be fascinating. His unique combination of size and speed is only matched by Gonzo and Marco Wilson on the Patriots' current roster. I expect a breakout season from him. So what do you guys think of Zay? Is he a perimeter corner? Could he be a slot corner? Free safety? Rover safety? Is he positionless? Do you think he'll be one of the primary kick returners? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.